I don't know, I think we both uh, have a similar affinity for um, Tay making a mockery of that which we love most, which is bands. It's the only way to get through it. Yeah, it's exactly. An, it's an insane I mean, I mean, life choice. Well, it is. It's completely ridiculous. So I think you, you're almost a fool to not kind of take piss out of it a little bit because it is really funny. Like bands are pretty funny. No, la laughter and um, and lightness, levity is uh, very important, even when things are shite. Really important, like music, which makes the world go round. Mm. You still take the piss <laughs> out of it. My name's Nicholas Albrook. I'm here in Sydney to play a show at the Lansdowne with the Walruses, my uh, fire new band. Our first sound guy in a moment of sublime stupidity called me Walrus. He was like Nick Walrus. I don't know, just a similar, a similal feel <laughs> as Nicholas. Were you being a walrus on the day? No, I was sitting in the back seat of the splitter van, probably listening to music or something. I don't know. And um, everyone thought it was real fucking funny. And it's uh, Teo Snowball uh, playing bass, Cameron Potts playing drums, Thea Woodward playing flute, and. Um, and sax. Well, yeah, the album is called Manganese from sort of named it after this time in Port Hedland, which is in the northwest. We were driving around with this lovely old lady, Tina. Yeah, she just pointed out a big pile of manganese. It's like, that's my buddy manganese, you know, which was really powerful such a sort of ta tangible, tactile way of saying it. Digging up and turning over my, my shit. <laughs> it, it just made me think about the, the whole project and the kind of, the sort of soullessness of the whole kind of industrial mining Western Australian project. And um, I don't know, I guess I just sort of felt like a little moment of like empathy for for miners. <laughs> it's like such a horrible thing to do, but people have to, to like break into the housing market and support families. And, um, and yeah, there's no one really complicit in it except for the 1%, you know. Honestly, it's hard to draw a through line with any album, unless you're Pete Townsend or Roger Waters or something like that. But if I try and do that and make something, make an entire album about something, the lyrics just become shit. It like has to be some kind of area in between like what is emotionally significant at that exact moment and what sounds cool in your mouth. And if one of those is sacrificed, it's kind of crap for me. Or like, you know, just for me. There's one song on there called Mazda. I just kind of had the idea that like this silly poem about seeing a car crash and I'd made like um, a tape loop of like an orchestra tuning up. I think I just got it off YouTube. I just like looked up orchestra tuning up and I recorded it onto a cassette in like a five, five second loop and it went around and I had just me like sort of doing this fucking poem over the top. And somehow I managed to hold on to the faith that this was gonna be good at some point in the future, but it wasn't for ages. It was so shit. And like, I just kept on getting friends to come in and like, just play some guitar or do some violin or whatever. And then it just got more and more oversaturated. And I was like, for ages. And then one day I'd like put on a real basic Rhythm King type of, um, like the, the type of drum, drum machine sound that's on the top of the organs that are on every street corner in Australia. And I did that and I'm like, sick. And then a little synth bass line of just like, you know, 145, 145, 145. And I was like, ah, oh, there it is. Having Nathaniel and gum gum mixing 
really, really helped it. And having Nathaniel with a cup, you know, a month or so, with just all the stems, being able to muck around with it in his own studio, and it kind of started binding it all together with these, like, sounds that go across the whole thing, his sort of synths and his wacky guitars and stuff like that. And then, yeah, Gum mixed it, and I think he really saved it as well. That sounds kind of cool. Man, it's such a pleasure. You got a real nice place.